Hi friends, welcome to the video. Today we'll discuss about the queen versus knight in game. Just like queen versus bishop in game, here too queen wins either by checkmate or by capturing the knight and subsequently win from there. However, the knight does a better job than the bishop in defending the position. Specifically, we need to be careful about the knight forks. If we do not know how to play against the knight, the opponent can easily draw via the 50 move rule. So, first I'd like to give some tips on how to play against the knight so that you will not get into knight forks. The same steps you can also apply generally when you are playing matches as well, not only in this end game. Right, in this position, if the king moves next to the knight along a file or along a rank, the knight cannot attack. Similarly, if you move the king with two squares in between the knight and the piece, the knight cannot attack. However, if the piece is one square apart from the knight, the knight can attack. And similarly, if the piece is odd number of squares, that is three squares, then the knight can attack. So this rule applies both for the ranks and files. So here, one more thing you can also observe that when we place the piece next to the knight, it is in the opposite color. And similarly, if we place the piece with two squares in between, we again place the knight in the opposite color. So this is general rule. Whenever you try to place the piece in the opposite color as knight, the knight cannot attack. This is a general tip you can follow. Now that we have learned how to play against knight along the files and ranks, let us see how to play along the diagonals. Along the diagonals, it is opposite. If you place it next to the knight, the knight can attack. However, along the diagonal, if you place the piece with odd number of squares in between, the knight cannot attack. And similarly, if you have three squares, it cannot attack. However, if the knight and the piece is separated by two squares or no squares in between, the knight is able to attack. These are some things you need to remember how to play against knight along the ranks and files and diagonals. And there are some other positions which will help you. For example, let us say it is a 3 by 4 rectangle. If it is a 3 by 4 rectangle, the knight cannot attack the piece. Again, you see that they are in the opposite colored squares. However, if it is a 3 by 5 rectangle, the knight can attack because both are in the same colored squares. And one more thing is you can also see that if it is a 2 by 5 rectangle, in this case, the knight and the piece are in opposite color. They cannot attack. However, if it is a 2 by 4 rectangle, the knight can attack. Now that we have understood how to play against the knight, let us try to play against the knight with a typical position. In this position, we have the black pieces in the center and white pieces along the edge. By applying the tips, whatever we discussed, let us try to play against the knight. So first, let us try to centralize our pieces. The knight is attacking the queen. By moving the queen to queen c4, we are sure knight cannot attack. Now let us centralize our king. So if you move the king, we are sure the knight cannot attack. Let us give the check. Now this is a typical scenario where the knight is controlling these two squares and because of that the king is not able to centralize. So in this position what we do is we attack the knight with the queen and make this square available for the king. Okay, so here let us move the king. Right. So this is a typical scenario again. So what we do is we keep the king in c4 square so that the knight cannot attack the king. We'll use the same formula, attack the knight and make the square available for king. So here the knight is getting separated from the king. So here it will be easier.
right just move the king in a 3 by 4 square so that the knight cannot attack okay now that uh, knight is separated from the king in this positions we always have to look out for the double attacks so in this position we don't have a double attack let's give it Right. So now we have a double attack and capture the knight. So friends, so this is a simple way of winning against the knight. Try to remember the tips what we discussed. By applying them, you should be able to win against the knight. However, you need to practice a bit so that you will get confident on winning such positions. Finally, kindly request you to subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching the video. Bye for now and happy learning.